Bold and the beautiful fans, hopefully you're having a great beginning of the week. I know these spoilers are late and it's not my fault. You got to talk to Belle about that. And I don't mean Young and the Restless Belle. I mean Brad Bell because they were definitely late on the spoilers for this week. So you want to know the spoilers? I'm going to tell you. First, I'm going to give you a few highlights and then we'll unpack the rest of this week. First, we see Brooke confronting Zenday. Liam confronts Finn about protecting Steffi. And Luna, oh yeah, she might be pregnant. So without any further ado, let's unpack this LA drama for the bold and the beautiful for the week of May 13th through May 17th. So remember on Magnificent Monday, yesterday, May 13th, Steffi found herself backed in a corner, or shall we say uh, Finn found himself backed in a corner because she delivered a powerful ultimatum to Finn. Yeah, either choose me or your bio mom. And he chose her, but the question is, will he actually comply with her demands as time go on? Moving into Terrific Taco Tuesday, May 14th, it brings another explosive confrontation as Brooke unleashes her fury on Zenday for betraying his cousin, RJ, with regards to that situation that happened in February. And yeah, as much as it was crazy, because I mean, yeah, he was interested in his cousin's girlfriend, but those mints was the biggest issue. However, Brooke, are you able to have the room to talk? I mean, seriously? So yeah, I find that pretty darn interesting that she's going to be the one to unleash this fury on Zenday. Also on Tuesday, we see Luna facing yet another challenging situation involving RJ and Zenday, raising the stakes even and higher. And what could that be? Yeah, she must have missed her period. Now, the interesting thing about that is in both situations when she was with RJ and the conversation after the situation happened with Zenday, both situations talked about protection and being on birth control. And now all of a sudden, there is a possible pregnancy, you know, maybe something happened. I don't know. Did something break? Was she on some type of medication that threw off the birth control? I guess they'll give us some more context in regards to this if she is, in fact, pregnant, which we'll talk about in the Wednesday spoiler. But yeah, look like she is on pins and needles. We now move into wonderful hump day Wednesday, May 15th, as it heats up as Poppy is now inserting herself into Luna's troubles. Yeah, pregnancy test is on the table. And of course, this is already a tense situation when you got two men, both Zenday and RJ, possibly could be fathers. So yeah, this is going to be interesting. And I'm wondering if that test is going to be negative or positive. Also on Wednesday, Liam, yes, little puke waffle boy Liam, grows increasingly concerned about Deacon's presence and the happiness that he has and newfound joy with Sheila and how it has a potential threat that it posed against Steffi. So his happiness in his own apartment is a threat for Steffi. Yeah, I think you guys are um, a little bit over the top. I mean, honestly, she hasn't done anything in two years. We can count that prank the other day. Liam, maybe you should go find you some business. Oh, yeah, you're trying to make Steffi your business. Honestly, Liam, if they're not bothering you, I don't think you should bother them. And, oh, yeah, by the way, yeah, your daughter is still with the land of the living because of none other than Sheila Carter. It takes us to Terrific Friday Eve Thursday. May 16th as it sees Liam taking Finn to task with the confrontation for not providing Steffi with the support that he thinks that she needs. And I'm telling you, this is going to be a crazy situation. We know the basis and the foundation of this whole thing when it comes to, uh, yeah, Liam, because, uh, yeah, he wants your wife, Finn. And we know that that ultimatum is on the table. It's going to be very, very interesting as time go on. We're winding down with May sweeps. This is the third week. And yeah, that wedding coming up in the week of May 20th, which is the tail end of May sweeps, is definitely going to be a determining factor on the direction that Finn is going to take. Rounding up our Thursday episode, Luna 
and RJ are forced to make a pivotal decision about their future, which of course is setting the stage for even more dramatic developments. I'm wondering what was the results of that pregnancy test. And if she is pregnant, which more than likely, which make it more of a soap opera drama. So yeah, stay tuned for that. The thing is, we don't know who the father is because she slept with or there was some activity, I'll just call it that, that happened within the same time period with both RJ and Zende. And of course, there's a big question mark in the air. So the question actually is, is where do they go from here? And finally, moving into Funtabulous TGIF Friday, May 17th, Finn finds himself grappling with the weight of his relationship with Steffi and the looming presence of his so-called relationship with Sheila. He is trying to be a people pleaser. He told Sheila that their bond will never be broken again. And he also told Steffi that he was choosing her. And yeah, he's stuck in the middle because neither one of them is actually going to be able to have him in their lives. So, yeah, you talking about crazy. The question is, what is this man going to do? Because right now, he's lying to himself. Also on Friday, tensions reach a fever pitch. Shocking news break that Deacon and Sheila are engaged. So, yes, the engagement announcement is out. And you know that's going to rock the Foresters, rock the Spencers, and, of course, the Logans that yeah Deacon and Sheila are about to get married and actually that wedding like I said before is coming up on May 23rd so yeah this is going to be quick fast in a hurry the question is what type of effect is it going to have on these LA residents and rounding up finally our Friday cliffhanger episode Hope expresses her frustration over Steffi's role in encouraging Thomas and Douglas to leave LA which adds another Another layer of complexity to an already tangled web of this relationship. So yeah, we haven't heard a little bit of Thomas talk in a while. Well, Hope is going to bring it up again. I mean, and especially since she's siding with Finn and she's not happy about where Steffi stuck her nose in her relationship. So it's about to get ugly. So make sure you stay tuned for this and everything else going on with the bold and the beautiful for the week of May 13th through May 17th. Okay, so there you have it. Yes, with each episode promising more twists and turns, The Bold and the Beautiful is delivering non-stop excitement and intrigue. So we can't miss a single moment of all of the action as the drama unfolds this week. Let's get the conversation started down in the comment section. What do you think about Brooke confronting Zende? Does she have a place to say anything to that man? Luna may be pregnant, and the question is, if she is, who's the baby daddy? And then Liam confronts Finn about protecting Steffi, and we all know why Liam, yes, little puke waffle boy Liam, is doing what he's doing because he actually wants to be with Steffi. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your notifications so that you're notified every time a video is posted. And until the next one, we'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.